Hello dear students, welcome to the insight of Vedas microwave series. Today I will start with the fermentation technology, MI304 as per the Gujarat University syllabus unit 2. So let's start with the screening of industrially important microorganisms. So before uh, starting with the screening and before discussion, uh, we uh, move on the discussion of what is screening, just we'll understand about the characteristic of industrially important microorganisms. Means, on the base pe aap wo organisms select karoge. So the first characteristic should be the organism, industrially important organism uh, should grow on very cheap medium. Wo cheap medium pe grow karega. Second characters, um, character is it will be able to uh, grow a, at a certain temperature range. So it will avoid the cooling cost during the fermentation process. It will produce enough amount of media uh, from the given substrate. So uh, the yield, the overall product yield uh, will be higher. Uh, it will grow in very short time period. It will not take a very long leg phase uh, for the adjustment. Uh, so this, some, uh, this type of characteristics we have to uh, first, these are the criteria for the selection of organism. Then we have to go for screening. Now what is screening that we'll understand about? Now the screening. It's a procedure of isolation, detection, and separation of a microorganism of our interest from a mixed population by using a highly selectively procedures. It's called screening. Now, what is our interest? See, uh, for this, you have to understand about what is primary metabolites what is secondary metabolites and how this primary metabolites and secondary metabolites are commercially valuable. So when you understand this, see primary metabolites means uh, they are the growth factors which is uh, actually produced during the exponential phase of organism in this primary metabolites is utilized by the organism itself for their growth. The secondary metabolites is produced during the stationary phase and it is produced uh, for uh, other than the growth, growth requirement. So you have to understand between these two and uh, this primary metabolites is just like organic acids, vitamins, amino acids. Secondary metabolites are antibiotics and all. Now this two differentiation you should know about and then you have to come to understand about that what commercial value of primary metabolite is there and what commercial value of secondary metabolites is there. And on the basis of that, you will able to understand that in which type of product you are interested. To. So on the basis, suppose if I just want to uh, work with citric acid production, so I will go with the citric acid is organic acid. So it is a primary metabolite. So my interest of uh, environment is citric acid production. So now how will I go for the screening? So, so first you have to think about the source, right? You have clear that I want to go with this product formation. Then you have to first think about from which source you will isolate your particular type of organism. So microorganisms you can get or from, uh, you can isolate from food, different type of food, uh, from the environment, it's like air, water or soil, or you can isolate from the compost and other sources. The major source of isolation or of, for the screening of organism is soil because it is the most enriched media and uh, it is having lots of variety of organism present into the cell soil so from this different type of sources you can uh, start with isolation that is called screening 
and this screening is divided into two types one is known as primary screening and second second is known as secondary screening so now what is primary screening so before starting with the primary screening we just have to think about on which base we are following the screening process so the first one that is choice of source from where you have selected your uh, organism or from where you have selected the what type of environment you have selected for the isolation of organism that is choice of source second choice of substrate right what type of uh, substrate you will provide for the production of your interested product third one is choice of detection how will you detect them that this particular organism is responsible for the product formation so this three important thing you have to think before screen so as i already told you two types of screening is there primary and secondary screen so in case of primary screening see we have to learn about organic acid production uh, antibiotic production extracellular metabolite production and enrichment culture technique this four type of techniques are there for the primary screening this organic acid producing organism you can isolate by use of different type of dyes which is known as ph indicator dyes antibiotic producing organism you can isolate or uh, primary screened out by use of crowded plate technique extracellular metabolite production you can follow by oxygenography technique and enrichment culture technique you can follow by use of defined media and secondary screening is a total different approach that we'll learn in next lecture so we are here focusing only on primary screening okay so what is primary screening it's a process for detection and isolation of microorganism of our interest as i already told you that i am interested in citric acid production so my interest is organic acid producing organism right so determine which microorganism are able to produce a compound so i have to isolate and determine the organism who is able to produce citric acid from a very rich population it does not provide much idea about the production or yield of microorganism see during the primary screening i cannot say on from the petri plate after the isolation that this particular organism who is able to produce organic acid is able to produce uh, 50 mg per liter per hour of citric acid that can this will not be our conclusion during the primary screening it separate out only a few microorganisms only few have commercial value while we have to discard other populations which we we, we can not utilize or which is not in our interest okay so we are starting with the first technique that is primary screening of organic acid producing microorganisms so here we are going to utilize different types of dyes bromothymol blue okay. ph indicator dyes right so uh, see as you know that any type of organisms who are able to produce organic acid they will change the ph of media now here you have to use a media which is a buffered media right buffered media means it is not able to change the ph with the slow changes right so you have to use a media which is buffered and here we are going to add calcium carbonate too right so calcium carbonate uh, will be utilized if the organic acid production is there so calcium carbonate will be utilized dye color will be changed due to the ph uh, changes and calcium carbonate utilization you can see by the zone formation right so here this nutrient agar plates are there right these are with uh, the calcium carbonate here i had not added one statement you can add uh, sugar also here right so if you are providing a very uh, high concentration of sugar 
then organic acid production must be higher if the particular group of organism is able to produce organic acid then you have to provide a substrate and that is sugar so if now this is different types of dyes which you can utilize ph indicator dyes for this nutrient agar plates and if this organism is able to produce organic acid then they are forming a calcium carbonate utilization zone okay so now the next technique in primary screening is antibiotic producing microorganism now this technique is also known as crowded plate technique so what you have to do you have to select a soil sample in case of organic acid also you have to select a soil sample right you have to follow serial dilution and then you have to spread it out on calcium carbonate ph indicator dye and sugar containing media here also you have to uh, collect a soil you have to inoculate into 10 uh, 10 ml sterile distilled water 1 g of soil sample and you have to spread it here in case of antibiotic producing organism you don't have to follow any type of serial dilution because you want a crowd so there is no need of uh, serial dilution over here so you have to spread a soil sample on a selective media by sterile glass spreader use of sterile glass spreader incubate it and you will find a colonies who able to produce a zone of clearance in surrounding area now see from this picture you can see see this is a colony who has removed a surrounding population see why this particular technique is known as crowded plate because in this technique you require at least 300 colonies then only you are able to see the capacity of particular population for the production of secondary metabolite and that is antibiotic right so by that way you can identify it okay now the next technique is oxygenography technique uh, primary screening of extracellular metabolite producing microorganism extra cellular metabolites means some of uh, some organisms who are able to produce amino acid extra cellularly uh, growth factors right so extra cellular metabolites now oxygenography technique is employed for the detecting microorganisms who are able to produce growth factors like vitamins amino acid etc so what you have to do you have to prepare two different plates the first plate preparation is here see a filter paper strip is put across the bottom of sterile petri plate the nutrient agar is prepared and pour onto the paper disc and allowed it to solidify now soil sample is diluted and proper dilutions are inoculated and the preparation of second plate a minimal media leaking of the growth factor is utilized with the test organism and this seeded organism is poured onto a fresh petri plate and the plate is allowed to set now how that it is going to happen see you have to take a first petri plate and see first petri plate you have to take you have to just put a filter paper over that and you have to pour a complete medium right that complete medium will be inoculated with the soil sample now you have to prepare a second petri plate which is with the minimal media without filter paper right now you have to take a first petri plate which was a complete media the agar in a first plate is then lifted on place on the second plate right so the first 
petrol plate was with the complete medium. Second petrol plate is with the minimal medium. So complete medium I had taken and put on the minimal medium. So the growth factors produced on agar can diffuse into the lower layer as lower layer is with the minimal media. So in minimal media, we have added a test organism. Whether it is able to produce uh, growth factors or not. So the zone of stimulated growth of test organism around the colony is an indication that organisms produce growth factors extracellularly. So this technique is known as oxenograph. Now the next is enrichment culture technique. See, for enrichment culture technique, uh, here you have to use a selective media. See, for example, I want to uh, grow pseudomonas only. As you know that soil is having lots of other group of organism with the population of pseudomonas. Now I only want isolation of pseudomonas. So what I will do, I will provide asparagine proline broth. So asparagine proline broth will help to, to pseudomonas to boost the growth. So the growth of pseudomonas will enhance, right? Now in this technique, other population will not be die, but as Pseudomonas is very much, uh, uh, you know, Pseudomonas, asparagine proline broth is very much favorable for Pseudomonas. So Pseudomonas will start growing immediately, where other population will start grow, growth with the asparagine. Up till that, asparagine is 70 percent is already utilized. So the maximum growth you will find in this selective media will be of pseudomonas only. So by that way, see enrichment culture technique that is isolation of, of an organism from natural source. So medium contains selective nutrient sources. Sample that contain a wide variety of organism inoculated into this. An organism of interest can multiply immediately as you have added selective source for that particular population only. So when you are going to plate it out, you will find a population of your interested organism only. So this technique is known as enrichment culture technique. I hope you clear with uh, primary screening. Thank you everyone. Stay safe. Have a nice day.